Okay, so I found this uh, Unistellar Smart Telescope. It's something that uh, I was searching and there's no, no information about it right now in YouTube, uh, online. It, there's some inf a few uh, information from them directly, from Unistellar. For this closure, in this moment in time, I have absolutely no commercial relationship with this company. I don't have this product, nobody has, because it's the first news about it. It will be launched on 25th of June. So it's just a few days from now. What I found interesting when I saw this, I studied the, the, the information they provide and it's, uh, it's uh, enough information for us to understand. And I start thinking, um, what is uh, this about? Uh, someone here, it was Lilith, was uh, talking about the possibility of uh, buying binoculars first instead of the telescope. Binoculars, it's... And it was always, uh, or oftentimes, um, a regular recommendation for beginners because they are easy to use. You point to the sky and especially it connects you with the sky in, um, in a way that you can learn the constellations easier instead of doing camera telescope or something like a Dwarf 2 or 3 now. Uh, by the way, I will review the, the Dwarf 3. It's confirmed already from the Dwarf Lab company. So stay tuned. Um, and in fact, they are good. I have binoculars. I don't use uh, them so often because I get tired with my my arms. I may do in the future, I may do some parallelogram or some, some way to to grab the binoculars and watch through the binoculars without uh, having to to hold my arms and uh, get tired with them. However, these uh, binoculars have uh, basically a particularity. They have augmented reality, so AR. AR draw me a lot the attention because I truly believe, and this, this is me speculating, I truly believe that in the near future, not so far away, we will have, uh, we will live a lot of augmented reality. I mean, augmented reality, it's not the same as virtual reality that you get immersed into a, a completely virtual space. Augmented reality can be so simple as this. As you being in your room or living room or a simple space, and uh, say to to the AI, well, I want uh, tonight. I want this to be in an environment of uh, birthday because my brother, it's my brother' birthday, for instance. And what augmented reality does for the ones that don't know is not to change your real uh, your reality, your real materials around you, the atoms that are around you. What it does is to add stuff to complement that uh, environment, that real environment that you are in. Your space right now around you. You have decoration, you have stuff. I have here the, the computer, the televisions, etc. I can uh, add uh, virtual pieces, not uh, the whole environment, but virtual decorations or anything to the environment to give me a feeling of whatever I want, you know? So, this is a, a thing that I, I believe that we will uh, have a lot in the future. And it's the first time that I'm watching um, the AR being applied to astronomy. We saw already many things around astronomy in an electronic uh, path. But no product till now, no product uh, had augmented reality. What does this mean? It means that, well, I will read you. Binoculars reinvented. Augmented reality precision orientation technology combined with premium optics. Enhance your exploration and read the night sky or the most complex terrains 
like a pro. Okay, this doesn't tell us nothing. Here, okay, the price is they will launch on 25 of June. The price is uh, with a discount 599. I remember I don't have any commercial relationship with them. They say here limited quantities, only 1000 units. Uh, our pre sales crowdfunding campaign and its early bird price of 599. So, this is the price of those binoculars. What these binoculars do that draw me the attention was. We'll go to the specs first here. During the day. During the day. They, with the augmented reality, they identify the the mountains that you are watching. So this is the daylight uh, observation. Green Lake, they identify the, the lake, they identify the, identify the trail, they identify if I hear another lake. So it has um, a useful daylight uh, observation uh, mode. As we evolve more and more and it, they, it's a natural thing uh, that's happening already more and more the information is being um, everything is being um, catalogued everything then it will be us for sure but everything well we are already being catalogued but that's another topic everything will be catalogued and identified on earth AI is being, it's been using a lot by NASA and other space agencies towards the Earth and to process the info. Uh, loads of data uh, faster than us. So I think this will be in the right path using this kind of, uh, of catalogs. So in that matter, we'll be fine. But the night was what interested me more. And I saw that they have here they have here, for instance, they pointed to the Hyades cluster, no? And they identify the stars. They identify here. They put you a layer. They place you a layer uh, uh, with red light. So you will not uh, lose dark vision, hopefully. And they identify the stars. You choose, uh, as far as I understood, you choose what you will identify. And they identify the, the the six stars that we have, the brightest stars of the the, the high Hades cluster, for instance. And in the um, in the nebulae, the Omega Nebula, the Eagle Nebula, and Sagittarius Cloud. This uh, drew me the attention a lot because, for instance, now Lilith here on the chat was uh, talking about maybe have some binoculars. Binoculars we usually to to learn the constellations with binoculars or even with naked eyes we have to match what we are watching in the sky with a kind of application or map in the past we used maps now we have those applications sky safari or stellarium or whatever you like and you quickly can identify okay that's the arcturus star okay that's boots constellation here okay that's vega star and there's the um, there's the the Lyra constellation, you know. With this kind of uh, tool, you will be able to quickly identify it without using the smartphone, just triggering the um, augmented reality, just triggering the augmented reality mode, and it will place that layer. And oh, that's the the nebula I was uh, searching for. So it will be easier and faster to identify what you are watching in the sky because as a beginner and even people with more professional and more exp experienced, I know most of the constellations, and, but I still don't know many of them. And uh, with a single pair of binoculars, I have uh, some hard time to, to find them. Sometimes it depends on the constellation, it's true, but a beginner will be for a beginner it will be very helpful to have that head uh, that head uh, only in the binoculars as a layer that you can click on and off 
So, I want you to tell me in the chat as well your opinion. Because I may be wrong. Look, guided navigation. Guided navigation, Orion Nebula. You see, you are searching. They do a go to. A push to. Sorry. This is a push to. You see? Bam. This is very... This is awesome, man. This is awesome, man. Imagine that you are searching... Imagine that you are searching for t bar And you don't know. I, I can't see the, the constellation. It's... Uh, it's not visible to me. I can't distinguish. With this kind of uh, push to integrate it in the binoculars, you go there. I think it's amazing. But I may be wrong. I don't know. But... Then the daylight here as well. You can lock a target. But this is for daylight. You can lock a target. Then pass the binoculars to your company. And uh, they will have the target locked. So look there. And you can just uh, share the views with anybody that will be with you then they have here advanced compass and uh, detailed information about the the altitude and the distance to the mountain and in the moon the moon should be also fun because it's always there in the moon you have here he identifies I see only a few Apollo 11 Copernicus well this can be just uh, a few cataloged or the most important uh, features of the moon but uh, for a beginner it will be nice for sure so what do you think about this they have uh, an application that you can and you sure I, I'm sure you have to connect so you can have uh, more additional information and um, they say here select an object of interest and get relevant information about what you are seeing reading it or asking it to read AI text to speech ah, this is funny they integrated AI so you can have the, the smartphone not watching it but just speaking with, uh, with the AI, which is interesting. The application also suggests interesting things to see depending on when and where you are observing from. The binoculars will then guide you towards these. Interesting. Here it's aesthetical. And then they have here the specs. The specs are magnification. It's a 10 diameter 50, so it's a 10 by 50. Um, battery life 5 hours or 1000 binocular engagements per charge. Fair enough. Field of view 6 degrees. Exit pupil diameter 5 millimeters. Optical glass back for fully multi-coated. It's a good one. Astronomical targets of interest 1000. Number of stars 200,000. Number of terrestrial targets plus 1 million hills, mountains and peaks. Hundreds of thousands of ways, shelters, water springs, caves and more. What do you think, guys, about this? Let me read the chat. 